Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this new video, we are going to talk about Llama 2.mojo. So if you are not aware about Mojo, Mojo is a new programming language for all AI developers. That's what their pitch says, by the way. So if you want to get started with Mojo, you should look at my uh, video on Mojo, install and set up Mojo, the last video on my YouTube channel when you are watching this video. So if you see here in this video, I have shown that how you can install and set up Mojo on your Windows machine through WSL Windows subsystem for Linux. Okay, it's very easy, extremely powerful, looks promising. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong when I'm saying this, but this language might be the future of artificial intelligence when their community becomes stronger. The reason Python is extremely powerful because we have a strong community and I will say that's it when I compare this with Mojo because the syntaxes look same and if you start comparing this will of course win you know if you look at the fundamentals of how to write programs you know that 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 runs within a computer but we'll not go into those comparisons but if their community becomes stronger and if them if they make good decisions you know the uh, the creator of Mojo then they will really succeed so you, you should watch this video to first install and set up. If you haven't installed and set up Mojo yet, then this current video that I'm creating will not be helpful. Okay, so what we are going to do, right, it's we are going to inference Llama 2 in one file. Okay, so earlier we have seen by Carpathy, Andres Carpathy, that he, he has created, you know, a baby Llama, that Llama CPP file that we saw, how we, you know, we can inference large language model earlier there's only limited support, but now we can use different LLMs, you know, through Llama CPP. So Llama CPP to run on community hardware because not everybody has a GPU machine or a VRAM. So how we can run this on a community hardware and also on embedded devices, you know, some chips and all. And that's why these are very important, I will say, and critical to keep working in this area. And somebody on the community, if you see Tyrov, and the credit goes to him, he's a production engineer based out of London, United Kingdom, please go and start this repository first. You can see it has been, uh, I think it has been created yesterday on GitHub, and all the credit goes to him for this Llama 2.mojo file that he has created, how we can inference Llama 2. This is one of the fastest inference of large language model till date. You can see that you know we have a comparison table between the llama 2.py file llama 2.cpp llama 2.c run fast using run fast variant then we have llama 2.mozo and then also have nai matmul right so you can also see you can also see the matrix multiplication whatever they you know they have done with this llama 2.mozo and all of this comparison table you can see the number of tokens per second if you see for two different model story is 15m basically the tokenizers that support that has been you know that has been created over here you can see story is 15 million dot bin and story is 110 million dot bin and you can see the number of tokens we are going to use this llama 2 dot mozo and you can see 260 tokens per second fantastic isn't it now this has been this has been uh Comparison. This comparison has been, I think, completed on a Linux machine, Linux distro Ubuntu, on six CPUs and Intel i7. Okay, and you can see that this is fantastic. I'm really looking forward to now go ahead and run this. Now this will help us inference large language model within Mojo, and you can also call Mojo in Python. But I don't know how that will be feasible in this case. But this will help us inference this LLMs on a CPU machine with a much faster rate, you know, and later on we'll see how we can use this for some RAG, implement, RAG implementation and all that will come later. Now, so let's get started. If you see here currently, I am on my terminal and I have Ubuntu WSL already installed, configured, set up whatever terminology we use. And to, to, to do that, I can you can see that I have Windows PowerShell, CMD, Azure CLI, you know, up upgraded PowerShell, Ubuntu, blah, blah, blah. I have all this installed. It's Microsoft has a very good documentation of how to install WSL on Windows machine. Okay, you can follow that, you know, you can go through that and follow those instructions and set up WSL2 on Windows. Now, if I just click on write code dot, I will open a VS code within WSL subsystem for uh, Windows subsystem for Linux. It will open a VS code. I will show you that what I mean by that.
and you can see it says AI anytime WSL Ubuntu. So I have opened this VS code in WSL Ubuntu and you can see all the folder files which are there in that uh, particular WSL that we created. So I have CUDA installed and all of those things over here, the Docker, the CUDAs, etc, etc. Okay. Now I will recommend you to watch this video, uh, this Mojo thingy. You can see install and set up Mojo. You can go and watch it some basic how to run a mozo file or something like that you know after set, setting it up now let's come back on the vs code and what we have to do we have to first uh, clone the github repository and for that i they already have given this instruction i will also give you the snapshot you know in the video description the first thing that we have to do we have to git clone the uh, this repository of llama2.mozo let's come back over here and let's just do uh, Control V and just paste. Now, once I do that, it will clone that particular GitHub repository that's called Lama 2.mojo. And all the developers are saying that we got our mojo back, you know, because uh, Mo Mojo has been promising earlier. They started with uh, Playground and all some wet list, uh, and then now it's available for public using public uses. If all the developers they can use it and build something on that. Okay. Now you can see that we have successfully cloned. The next thing that we have to do, let's first do an ls and see what we get. Okay, all the files and all, blah, blah, blah. I think I should have deleted all these files which are not required, like now dip files and all. Now the next thing is that, okay, we have to go inside that. So we have, we have to go inside that uh, clone folder, llama2.mozo. So I, I am inside this now. And uh, let's see these are the files that we have. We have tokenizer.bin. Make sure that tokenizer is available. Now let's go through the uh, folder here. You can see that I have this folder called llama2.mozo. We have some assets. We have a, we see the GIF which is available on the GitHub repository as well. Now if I come in this llama2.mozo, you know, let's see that a bit. You can see that uh, and they have an structure of matrix 3 for matmo they have variables blah 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 function that's how we define a function guys so please watch the previous video where i have some you know smaller things like function and all how to do that so function then allocations buffer float 32 this looks good mm. then structure matrix Pretty much similar in what we have seen in Lama's uh, C as well. But the, of course, the logic is almost same. The SIMD is something that we have to, you should you should read about that. You know, that, that's what, and also it's the tokenizer, tokenizer that we have config. So let's don't go much in detail at this moment. I will show you what I'm talking about. So if you go to their issues, they will have, one is issue that's called increased number of SIMD registers. This is how it makes your inference faster, right? So if you if you read this, increased number of SIMD registers used to speed up the execution. Even that will also that might speed up. I don't know. There might be an analogy that that might speed up on you know uh, the parallelization of uh, the, the execution that we are going to make. So you can you can also keep a track of the GitHub issues because I was going through it and I got good enough understanding of that how it might been working in the back end and you can also keep a track of it okay now what we have to do now is let's come back over here and we have to uh let me just do one thing i will just do a w gate to get this stories 15m dot bin so let me just do that It will take little time to download this basically this file. We are using wget to get this file. I think it also has a 110 million uh, uh, version of stories as well that you can get it. Now, if you come back over here, you can see that we have a new bin file which is which is called stories 15m dot bin. Okay, so these are 15 million version of stories or that the excuse me. Now, how many lines of code? Fantastic, less than 1000. So, less than 1000 lines of code, and we have a single pure llama2.mozo file you know, to inference uh, llama2. Okay, this is fantastic. You can see the sorted weights, transformers, the same. You know, if you have gone through, and you can see the checkpoints 
uh, storage 15 m 110 m fantastic so two are supported and currently and by default you can keep on adding classes here and do that maybe later probably anyway uh, let's let's come back here and here now what we can do is we can start uh, we can run that file so let me just do an ls and you can see that what are the files that we have so we have to uh, run llama 2.mozo so in we also have folders you can ignore that asset folder we don't need it these are for gif and all now how do we run a file so we call it mozo llama 2.mozo let's see that and you can see uh, achieve tokens per second it once upon a time there was a little girl named lily she loved to play outside in the sunshine one day she saw a big red ball in the sky it was the sun she thought it was so pretty this is fantastic right achieve token per second 215 tokens per second okay fantastic the checkpoint size the simd vector width number of hardware threads and all those values are available over here okay so I have less number of hardware threads uh, checkpoint size fantastic right this is for uh, but we we got a remarkable uh, token size guys you know token per second sorry of 215 which is extremely fantastic uh, in my views okay let me just bring it up here try the 100 million version of stories so you just you just saw now let's go back to the github repository code you can see the performance though the llama 2 built with on program it is faster in the direction pelaz mode is more working but the one one must slow this makes sense the program experimentation performance function a bit faster it will run faster this is fantastic rented nearly 250x uh, you can also use this in mozo playground if you haven't set it up locally you can also go and you know access mozo playground and do that okay like story is 15m dot bin then just another okay fantastic you can see it's an mit license anybody can use it but this is this is great right to inference through mozo but maybe what we can also do we can you know create some cool applications with it now okay how we can do a rag kind of an implementation on your documents data pdfs whatever but this is great now i uh, this i don't have to give you any github repository for this because i'll give this github repository link it's pretty much self-explanatory so i just wanted to keep you updated on this um llama 2.mojo which looks really promising to me we still in the early stage of investigation that if it's feasible to work with you know a plethora of data documents and how it performs with uh, through different integrations and all i don't know if there is an integration of with some frameworks that investigation is currently going on if i come across something that i will again create a video on that that's all I'll say guys, you know, for this short video that how we can inference. This is the fastest inference on a CPU machine. You saw that I was running it on a CPU and it was blazingly fast. Okay. Now you can try it out. Let me know if after you try it out that, you know, uh, what's your feedback or thoughts or views on this. And if you have any other perspective, that's all for this video. Please like the video and subscribe the channel. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet for LLM, please visit my LLM playlist. And please share the video and channel with your friends and to peer. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you in the next one.